Programming the pump to deliver the right amount of insulin is important for good glucose control. You must have insulin 24 hours a day to move glucose out of the bloodstream and into your cells to give you the energy your body needs. Your pump delivers insulin in two ways, basal insulin, sometimes called background insulin, which is tiny amounts of insulin automatically delivered evenly over each hour all through the day and night. And bolus insulin, which is larger amounts of insulin you tell the pump to deliver to cover your food or if you have a high glucose. In this course, we'll show you how to set the basal insulin amounts into your pump and how to change them when you need to. Remember, you should not be connected to your pump while you practice. Basal insulin covers your insulin needs between meals and when you're sleeping. Your healthcare professional will calculate the amount of basal insulin you'll need over each hour. This is called a basal rate. You may simply start with just one basal rate that will deliver evenly over each hour, 24 hours a day. As you continue with pump therapy, your basal rates may need to be changed or you might need more than one basal rate to adjust to your body's various insulin needs. The rate or rates you need to cover 24 hours is called a basal pattern. Once your basal pattern is set correctly, you should be able to sleep late, eat late, or even skip a meal without your glucose going too high or too low. This is Maya. She's a college student with an unpredictable schedule. She's always struggled to take her long-acting insulin injection to cover her basal needs at the same time every night like her doctor had prescribed. Now, with her pump, she won't have to take her shot. She'll be getting her basal insulin automatically 24 hours a day. Maya's doctor wants her to start with a basal pattern that has one basal rate of 0 0.750 units per hour. First, she presses right to basal and then presses select. She presses down to insulin settings and presses select. And then presses down again to highlight basal pattern setup and presses select. She presses select on basal 1. She presses Select on Options. Then selects Edit. She presses Select on the Time segment. Then she presses Select again since she's only setting one basal for all 24 hours and doesn't need to change the end time. then holds the up button to quickly scroll to 0 0.750 units per hour and presses select. She selects done. She checks to see that her basal rate has been entered correctly and selects save. Maya is done setting one basal rate. Maya's blood glucose, or BG, readings are a bit higher than she would like. Her doctor advises her to increase her basal rate to 0 0.900 units per hour. From the home screen, she presses right to basal and then presses select. She presses down to insulin settings and presses select. Maya presses down to basal pattern setup and then presses select. She selects basal 1, then options. Then edit. 
She presses select on the time segment. Since the 12 a.m. time is already correct, she presses select once more. Maya presses up to change 0 0.750 to 0 0.900 units per hour and presses select. She selects done. She sees the 24-hour total has increased to 21.6 units. She verifies the basal rate is correct, then selects save. Maya has successfully changed her basal rate. According to Maya's doctor, the basal rate of 0 0.900 units per hour seems to be working well during the night, but during the day, her glucose levels are running low. She needs to lower the basal rate from 0 0.900 to 0 0.650 units per hour between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. To add the new rate, Maya presses right to basal and then selects it. Then down to insulin settings and selects it. And down once more to basal pattern setup and then presses select. Maya selects Basal 1, then Options, then Edit, she presses Select on the Time segment. Now she changes the end time. Maya presses up to 8 a.m. since that's the time her basal rate will need to decrease and presses select. Then presses select again to keep the current rate of 0 0.900 as the rate for this time segment. Maya presses select to change the end time of the second basal rate. She presses up to 6 p.m. and presses select. Then she presses up to 0 0.650 units per hour and presses select. Maya presses select to change the end time of the third basal rate. She presses up to 12 a.m., completing the 24 hours, and presses select. She presses up to 0 0.900 units per hour and presses select. She selects Done. Maya reviews the first two basal rates of her new basal pattern. She presses Down to view the third basal rate. She sees the 24-hour total is now 19.1 units and confirms all three rates are correct, so she selects Save. Maya's finished setting her new basal pattern with multiple basal rates. After reviewing her BGs, her doctor would like to make one more change to Maya's basal rates. Maya selects basal. She presses down to insulin settings and selects it.
She presses down once more to basal pattern setup and presses select. She selects basal 1, then selects options, then selects edit. She presses down to the 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. time segment and selects it. Maya presses down to change the end time to 5.30 p.m. and presses select. She presses up to 0 0.700 and presses select. She sees the start time of the third time segment change to 5.30 p.m. and needs the end time rate to be set. She presses select to change the end time. Maya presses up to 12 a.m. and presses select. She presses up to set the rate to 0 0.900 units per hour and presses select. Maya selects done. She verifies the basal rates are correct and selects save. Maya has finished changing her basal rates. After reviewing her CareLink reports, Maya's doctor decides that her 8 a.m. basal rate of 0 0.700 will work until 12 a.m. since her BG is a little lower than desired at bedtime. Because of this, there's no need for the last basal rate. She presses right to basal and then selects it. She presses down to insulin setting and presses select. Then she presses down to basal pattern setup and presses select. Maya selects basal 1. Then selects options. And then selects edit. She presses down to the 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. time segment and presses select. She then presses up to change the end time to 12 a.m., completing the 24-hour programming, and then presses select. No change is required of the units per hour, so she presses Select. She notices there is no longer a third time segment since she changed the end time to 12 a.m. and then selects Done. She verifies the basal rates are correct and selects Save. Maya's done removing a basal rate. You've come to the end of the Setting Basal Patterns course. You've learned about what basal rates and basal patterns are, and you should now know how to program them into your pump. We suggest you take the Giving Boluses course next. If you have additional questions, please consult your user guide or speak to your healthcare professional. For a certificate of completion, click here.